uh, try to use your hands also to explain things. And uh, yeah, and understanding also I like, struggle with accents. So if you're from Indonesia, you do not. This almost happened to everyone who learns a foreign language. Not only want to be able to write, to read. The learners also want to have a good listening skill and to speak fluently. These four aspects are interrelated and perhaps some people can master the respective aspects without having problems, but others can't for some reasons. Well, guys, I'm not a language teacher, but hey, I want to share my personal experience with you. Yes particularly with you who are currently learning or planning to learn a certain foreign language so that this sharing gives you motivations and finally you can attain your objective and you know that this is a sort of personal development topic in the sense of improving the skills of foreign language so before pursuing I like to remind you who are watching this video to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon too all right stay tuned don't go anywhere I'll be right back after this intro Hey everyone, it's Tidi here and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to share my personal experience with you on how to ameliorate the skills of foreign language. So no matter what foreign language you are learning or you are about to learn, you will be dealing with four elements which I mentioned earlier in this video. And what makes me bring this topic up is that, you know, many people expect to be able to speak the foreign language that they are learning at the earliest time possible. However, if this is your case, then you better know one thing to remember that it is necessary to have a very good listening skill in order to speak fluently. And apart from that, you are required to understand how to exercise the grammar. Well, there are two points, i.e. listening and speaking, that I want to share with you in this video. The first point is listening. The questions, what to do and how to improve this listening skill. Well, guys, to improve this skill, you can use several instruments depending on your level, such as compact disc, audio, audiovisual, podcast, and so on. And once you are able to master your level, you can move up to a more challenging level. And one thing that you should bear in mind is that please take a piece of paper to note something down, especially for the words or expression that you are not sure about what the speakers mean. Having done this will help you to enrich your vocabulary. So to give you an example, you know, when I learned English, I frequently listened to recorded programs in MP3, CD, and of course some podcast podcast I mean uh, from the uh, British Broadcasting Corporations aka BBC and it was fun when I listened to the speaking uh, to the uh, welcoming speech like uh, welcome to BBC learning English it was really fun so right now I'm brushing up my French so I use all medias and also I take the advantage of the social media such as YouTube in the education section and you know and podcast as well and while listening to podcasts or uh, any media that I'm using I also take some note uh, for the words or expression uh, which I don't understand and later on I look it up so by doing this I can have more new vocabulary so till here am i making sense guys if so then let me continue to the second part which is or second point i mean which is speaking as i said earlier in order to speak fluently you need to have at least a good listening skill and in addition to that you have to comprehend how to exercise the grammar so the question what to do and how to improve this conversational or speaking skill well obviously there are a thousand ways of doing that you can do this from classical to forward-looking ways for example talking to yourself in front of a mirror it is indeed a classical way though but it is a good exercise and repeating what you have heard from your medias but hey let me warn you don't shout it too loud because it's not funny and joining in the local communities that allow you to practice speaking. A few years ago, when I was still in Surabaya, I was the only Indonesian who joined in the sport club, namely Surabaya Expatriates Football Club, or shortly called Sexpat FC. And most of the players were native English speakers, such as British, Scottish, and Irish. So no wonder if people come across that my English sounds so British. Do you believe that? No guys, don't believe this. It's just a joke. Well, no matter where your accent is from, what matters is that you speak the language correctly. Well, frankly speaking, I occasionally realize that I don't articulate the words when speaking, for example. So, another best way to improve your speaking skill is that letting your speaking partners to correct your language whenever you're making mistakes in the course of your conversations. So, don't be afraid of making mistakes 
or be ashamed of getting some corrections in front of the others because you'll make some progress from your mistakes. In my case, I let my friends whose level much better than mine or native speaking partners in France, for example, to correct my language whenever I make mistakes. And talking with different people in different sport clubs or local communities will help improving your speaking skill and don't forget to thank them who correct your language. So now I let you watch some friend of mine who share their personal experience on how they ameliorate their foreign languages. So let's check it out together. All right, on my right hand side here is my friend Wasim and um, I'm gonna be asking him about his personal experience on how he improves his foreign languages because I've heard a lot about his ability that he's able to speak more than four foreign languages. So more than polyglot, sorry, I would say. Oh, wow. Okay, so Wasim, can you please tell me and share with us, my audience, on how you improve your foreign languages? Uh, thanks, Didi, for uh, this uh, introduction. Uh, learning a foreign language today is very important, not only for career-wise, but uh, to communicate with other people from different nationalities. Um, it's a long process. We need to know that from the beginning. We have to put ourselves in the correct mindset to do that. And by this I mean you need to know that it's not gonna be a one day change. It's gonna be a long, maybe tiring process to reach fluent level. So if the next day you see yourself doing some, some mistakes when speaking, you might give up. That's not gonna help you to, to reach that level. So you need to put yourself in the mindset that I'm not gonna give up. I know I'm gonna face some difficulties on the way, but day by day I'm gonna progress so that in a certain amount of time I'm gonna be able to communicate fluently with people speaking that language. Oh, that's really nice. Okay. Yeah. And one satisfaction I get from uh, from doing this is when you actually speak with people uh, who has uh, who have their this language as their mother tongue, and they tell you so how long have you been learning this language, or you've been learning it by your own, and they see you speaking it uh, already at a very good level, and they will be impressed. And you will receive this, um, this great feedback every time you, you speak that language. That's true. So let me ask you, Basim, because I want to know also, perhaps my other friends on my YouTube channel would like to know how many languages you are able to speak and what languages are they? Uh, in Lebanon, my mother language is Arabic and it's not an easy language. Ah, uh, well, yes. You guys know Arabic is not a very easy language to learn, but yeah, if you are willing to learn, you will be able to speak, right? Exactly. And, and uh, Arabic and Lebanese is a dialect from Arabic and it's not the same. So actually in your, in your head, it's already two different, not languages, but ways of speaking and kind of like uh, Swiss German and, uh, and German, which could ah, be okay. totally different at some point. Um, and then we learn French at school, um, but I also put in extra efforts on that, especially my, my family uh, helped me in that aspect to, to be able to speak it fluently. Wow, that's interesting. English at a third, uh, as a third language, uh, which was not easy. Uh, at the beginning it was very, very annoying to, to learn English, but then in the university I did four years uh, only in English. And it, helped me uh, improve my level. Um, Chinese is another very Chinese. difficult uh, language. <laughs> the uh, grammar is easy, but uh, every character is a new word that you need to, to memorize, to remember how to write it. And it's not, not that easy. But again, when you speak with a Chinese person and they see you speaking it already at this level, only by learning yourself, it really gives me a big motivation to keep doing it every day. That's interesting. And uh, this year we had the uh, quarantine, yeah. so we could not, uh, we didn't work for four months. And uh, during this, these four months, I thought it could be a good opportunity to learn uh, German since I'm in uh, Switzerland and German is very, very important for this country. The fifth, the fifth um, one. Yeah. Spanish is not yet uh, at a good level. I, I kept it uh, aside, but I'm gonna get back to it as my sixth and potentially final uh, final language in, in life maybe. Six languages. <laughs> Incredible. 
And uh, for German, I spent 450 hours on a platform that my uh, my company gave us access to. Right. And it's talking with teachers on a daily basis, spending three hours every day uh, on that. To in five months, uh, I think now when I talk also with someone uh, who's German or who speaks German, yeah. and they see uh, this level in five months by myself with my laptop. It's also uh, amazing and this gives me the, the motivation to keep doing it because you see how people uh, perceive you. That's true, yeah. Like you see the potential career uh, opportunities you will have in the future. That's true, also, yeah, I agree with that. And the international people you meet on a daily basis, if they're from China, from Germany, from an Arabic country, you already speak, you're already able to speak to them in their mother language, which is uh, not bad. <laughs> Very impressive afterwards, yeah, you get some impression from those people who are uh, speaking their mother tongue when you are meeting them. Yeah. I mean, when you are meeting with them. So, the tips that you're gonna share with, with us, what kind of instrument that you use to improve your uh, foreign language? There are different tools that uh, you can use to do this. In English, for example, it was learning at school, but I know learning at school is not easy for most of us because it's uh, maybe reading some texts, not really having the opportunity to speak with someone in that language. Learning at school will help you improve your reading skills, uh, how you read the text, but maybe writing, but not really the way you communicate. So you will see you're not able to pronounce uh, well. Correctly, yes. And for that, what you can do is try to, uh, try to immerse yourself uh, in that country or in that language. Uh, go and do an internship, uh, study a semester there in, uh, in the US or in, uh, in Britain uh, in a country where you speak English on a daily basis. If you can't do that, maybe try to find some people in your country uh, who come from that um, country. Yes, I like this one. Yeah. Try to speak to them. You have nothing to lose. If you're afraid that, oh, I'm gonna do a mistake, so better to speak in, in my own language or in another language, you're not gonna progress. You need to recognize that, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna be doing some mistakes, but that's okay. You should not be afraid of speaking, trying and trying every day. When I speak Chinese with the Chinese people, I do tons of mistakes, but I don't mind. I try to practice and every time I improve, I learn so that the next time I will not maybe do the same mistake. That's the key word, uh, the key success factor to uh, improve your foreign language skills, guys. Whenever you have the chance to practice it with someone, go ahead, don't be afraid of it. Even if they're gonna maybe be uh, uh, pissed off because uh, your level is not good, so what? Maybe you move on to the next person, you will come across the person who will be happy to talk to you in that language. That's a really encouragement, huh? Yeah, uh, you have a lot of uh, courage uh, to, to motivate yourself to speak uh, using the foreign language that you are learning to someone that uh, you meet. And what else other personal experience that you want to share with us? Yeah, I would like to mention some maybe applications online. Today there are a lot of uh, uh, applications, uh, websites, uh, for example, Duolingo. Uh, Duolingo is easy in the uh, early stage because it's a game, that uh, an application that interactive, you will start learning the basics ah. of the language, mm -hmm. uh, but you have to do it like spend 10 to 20 minutes every day, do not interrupt it even one day, keep doing it every day for a period of 3 months to 4 months, you will grab different basics. Mm -hmm. In this case you will not be talking to someone maybe because you don't have the opportunity, but you will start getting some basics, when you hear something you will understand, uh, you will read, be able to read the, the basics. After that, um, my advice is to try to find uh, somebody, maybe a teacher uh, from that language or somebody you are able to start talking to. It could be a professor online on, on some software, some, some websites like uh, preapply.com. Preapply, I never heard pre of it. Preapply.com. Uh, you can find actually cheap prices for a session ah. with, uh, with teachers. It could be $4, $5 per hour. Ah. And one hour you have the opportunity to speak with that person. So online platform is very useful. Uh. It is useful in this case. Again, the ideal would be to talk on a daily basis with, uh, with people yeah. uh, using that language. If it's not the case, then you go for, for these websites. Okay. 
And what's uh, very helpful at a later stage once you reach an, an intermediate level is uh, what I recommend it to everyone. It's watching uh, TV series or uh, movies from that language with the subtitles of that language. So if you're from Indonesia, you do not use Indonesian subtitles when you see, uh, when you watch English TV series. You have to force yourself to hear that language, read the subtitles in that language on a maybe daily basis. Yeah. You will see it's a big, big improvement. That's true. It's yeah. a big step forward. This is what I'm doing actually. I'm brushing up my French, you know. Yeah, thanks to him also, my friends also a bit better now. <laughs> okay, another tip that you want to share with, uh, with us? The last tip is uh, good luck on this. Uh, you have again to know that it's not gonna be easy. At different stages you might feel that, okay, I, uh, it's enough. I'm not gonna be able to reach a better level. I'm done with it, I don't want to continue. Once you reach this step, you have to force yourself to keep going. You That's cannot right. give up. Consistency. It's yeah. a long process and it's tiring. But the result at the end, you have a lot to win and yeah. nothing to lose. So, this is it, guys. Yeah, thanks a lot, Wasim, for uh, sharing your personal experience uh, in my channel. No worries. And I hope you guys um, be able to grasp what he has delivered. Okay? <laughs> and uh, let me know if you have questions or did you have uh, questions later on. Sure, uh, it's yeah. uh, fifty dollars per question, but uh, that's okay. That's a good job, guys. <laughs> okay, write down in the comment section if you want to <laughs> practice your foreign languages. Mandarin, for example, he speak Chinese, so it would be good to practice. My Indonesian friends from my ex university, some are able to speak Mandarin. Wow. So, so you guys probably uh, willing to know. Uh, how he speak Chinese or write Chinese, then go ahead. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Peace out, guys. <laughs> okay. Right now, I'm with my friend Fatima, and she's going to share her personal experience on how she improves her foreign language. So, Fatima, share your experience uh, with us. How do you improve your foreign language? <laughs> so uh, at the beginning I was reading a lot in English in the newspaper, watching TV, right. before really taking classes. So I learned to speak before I could learn the proper grammar. Oh, that's interesting. So I learned first to speak, speaking with people listening to TV, and then I took classes to improve my grammar. Right. Uh, and uh, what do you? What kind of instrument do you use uh, to improve your listening skill and also your speaking skill? The speaking skills is more difficult for listening. Just listening to be TV, radio, and forcing myself to uh, be with English speaking people. That's that's <laughs> really nice, guys. <laughs> yeah. So I, I put myself into situations when I had no choice but to speak in English. Right. So oh, that helps. That's interesting. <laughs> So, um, just want to ask more about how many languages do you speak? I speak four languages. Two mother tongues. Six, I have two, six two mother tongues. Tongues, guys. <laughs> have two mother tongues. What, what are they? Spanish and Galician. Mm -hmm. Spanish. And then I speak French and English. Voilà, elle parle français très bien quand même. Avec un gros accent. Avec un gros accent. Avec un très gros accent. That's the most difficult part I found is I found that I have a very strong accent and I cannot get it. But it's it's good to have an accent actually, yeah, to show your identity that where where you're from. The problem it's not the problem actually accents. Mm -hmm. The most important is that you can speak the language mm -hmm. uh, correctly, right, yeah. accurately. So yeah. So what else you can uh, share with us in, in terms of uh, listening, speaking, or um, writing, whatever? Yeah. For, for speaking, what I found very hard is to not be afraid of people correcting you, oh. of people getting a laugh because you're saying something wrong. So once you're not afraid anymore of making mistakes, yeah. you just start to speak. And really some, people, some people are very uh, kind. When, even when correcting you, they're very kind, they will explain to you. Some people will be like, I don't know. But just <laughs> <laughs> Do you have like a first experience that uh, you probably feel shy or ashamed of making mistakes? 
a lot of times. A lot of times. Time. Yeah. How do you deal with that? Uh, trying to use your hands also to explain things, trying to find other ways to explain things where people don't get to understand you. Uh, Listen to, the, yeah. to her hands. <laughs> it's a good tip, sir. Huh? And uh, yeah, and understanding also I struggle with accents also. So first time I went to Skondan, I couldn't understand. I could speak more or less English. Okay. Uh, but I couldn't understand the people there. I mean, they have a very strong accent. Yeah, very, but they were so kind. Right. So people will repeat over and over again. Huh? People are super kind. So yeah, sorry, I didn't understand. They will repeat slowly. <laughs> That's really nice. Yeah. They are. Some people are very kind. <laughs> so um, yeah, have a drink. Yeah. Before get cold. <laughs> That's a bowl, huh? Yeah. So yeah, guys. You know, the Scottish people, you know, the Scottish, they have a very strong accent and, and I've got a friend also from Scotland and the way they speak also very, uh, you know, very uh, unique. Any other um, uh, tips that you want to share? Uh, no, just to summarize, channel? don't be afraid right. and put yourself into situations where you have no choice but to speak the word. That's, right? yeah. That's cool. That's very brief, very short, very concise, guys. So. Don't be afraid, just go through, yeah, and um, no matter whether you make mistakes or not, because you you will learn any from your mistakes, yeah. and, and then, yeah, be brave. Huh? Exactly. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank for you. your time and also your personal experience starting with uh, everyone at my channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank All right. You. I hope that this sharing is very useful for you guys. And let me know about your personal experience on how you improve your foreign language by commenting on this video. And don't forget to click like, subscribe, and press the bell icon so that you won't miss the next interesting video from this channel. Of course, you can share it with your friends. And by the way, should you have comments, feedback or questions in regard to this topic, then write them down in the comment sections. I'm Nadir Javane. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Take care, stay safe, and see you next time. Ciao!